Launched by NASA in 1977, Voyager 2 stands as one of humanity's most extraordinary accomplishments in space exploration. More than four decades later, this incredible spacecraft continues to send valuable data from its journey through the immense reaches of space. What has it uncovered over these years? Humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and insatiable curiosity about our solar system and beyond drives this mission forward. Voyager 2 shows no signs of slowing down in its quest to inspire and inform, so strap in tight, it's time to embark on a journey to the edge of the solar system. Crossing the heliopause marks a remarkable achievement in space exploration. Let's break it down in simple terms. The sun creates a vast bubble around itself called the heliosphere, filled with charged particles known as the solar wind. These particles travel far into space until they meet particles from the interstellar medium, which comes from stars and other celestial sources. The heliopause is the boundary where the solar wind can no longer push against the interstellar medium, defining the edge of the sun's bubble. In November 2018, Voyager 2 became the second human-made object to cross this boundary after Voyager 1. This boundary is where the solar wind emitted by the sun meets the interstellar medium, the matter between stars. When Voyager 2 passed this threshold, it recorded a sudden drop in solar wind particle density and an increase in interstellar particles, confirming that it had exited the heliosphere, leaving the sun's influence behind. During its historic crossing, Voyager 2's plasma detector, an instrument designed to measure electrically charged gas in space, remained operational. The spacecraft discovered that plasma in interstellar space was denser than the plasma within the heliosphere. This groundbreaking finding enhanced scientists' understanding of the environment beyond the sun's reach. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's functional plasma instrument allowed for direct measurements of plasma density, uncovering a significant increase in density outside the heliosphere. These observations deepened our knowledge of the transition zone and the interactions between the heliosphere and interstellar space. Voyager 2's magnetic field observations provided significant insights into cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles originating from events like supernovae. These cosmic rays are partially deflected by the solar wind within the heliosphere. Upon crossing the heliopause, Voyager 2 recorded a notable increase in cosmic rays, highlighting the heliosphere's critical role as a protective shield, including for Earth. The spacecraft also measured the magnetic field at the edge of the solar system and found that the interstellar magnetic field's direction closely resembled the Sun's magnetic field. This unexpected discovery hinted at an interaction between the two fields, challenging existing theories about the solar and interstellar boundary and paving the way for further scientific exploration. Voyager 2 documented significant changes in cosmic ray behavior after crossing into interstellar space. Within the heliosphere, the solar wind acts as a partial shield, protecting the solar system from high-energy particles beyond. The spacecraft, however, encountered a much greater intensity of cosmic rays, confirming the heliosphere's role as a protective barrier against cosmic radiation. Additionally, Voyager 2's data revealed the heliopause as a dynamic and ever-changing boundary. The heliosphere expands and contracts in response to solar activity, demonstrating the complex interaction between the Sun and the interstellar environment. These findings highlight the non-uniform and intricate nature of the boundary. After crossing the heliopause, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space and began investigating the interstellar medium. It detected a cold, dense plasma environment distinctly different from the hot, low-density plasma of the solar wind. These observations provided a rare opportunity to study the conditions of space between stars, offering valuable insights into the formation and evolution of our galaxy. What does this mean for us? Voyager 2's journey enhances our understanding of the Sun's protective bubble and its interaction with the surrounding space. This knowledge is crucial for future space missions and expanding our understanding of the universe beyond our solar system. It's like discovering the boundary of our cosmic neighborhood and glimpsing the vast universe beyond. Crossing the heliopause marked a historic milestone, officially taking Voyager 2 from the solar system into interstellar space. Even billions of miles away from Earth, Voyager 2 continues to send back invaluable data, transforming our view of the space between stars. Its discoveries about solar wind, cosmic rays, and interstellar space have changed how we see our place in the cosmos. This small spacecraft, launched many years ago, continues to inspire with its remarkable journey into the unknown. Voyager 2's exploration at the edge of the solar system provides crucial insights that will greatly influence future missions. These discoveries set a foundational understanding for studying the interstellar medium and its interactions with stars, 
including our Sun. The knowledge gained will guide upcoming missions like the Interstellar Probe, which aims to travel further into interstellar space and build on Voyager's incredible legacy. Two pioneering spacecraft, by analyzing data from both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, scientists have deepened their understanding of the solar system's boundary. Although both spacecraft crossed the heliopause, they experienced slightly different conditions, revealing the asymmetric shape of the heliosphere. These variations indicate that external factors, such as the local interstellar magnetic field and pressure, play a role in shaping the heliosphere. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched by NASA in 1977, remain some of the most remarkable milestones in space exploration. Originally designed to study the outer planets and beyond, although Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were designed with nearly identical specifications and shared similar objectives, they followed distinct paths and made unique discoveries throughout their missions. In this exploration, we'll delve into the similarities and differences between the two spacecraft, showcasing how they complemented each other in enhancing humanity's knowledge of both the solar system and interstellar space. Launched in 1977 as part of NASA's Bold Voyager program, Voyager 2 took off first on August 20th, with Voyager 1 following on September 5th. Despite being launched later, Voyager 1 was set on a faster trajectory, enabling it to reach its planetary targets ahead of Voyager 2. Both spacecraft were designed to take advantage of a rare alignment of the outer planets, which occurs roughly every 176 years, enabling them to visit multiple planets using gravitational slingshots. Voyager 1 focused on Jupiter and Saturn, providing groundbreaking data and images of these gas giants and their moons. One of its most famous discoveries was the detailed observation of Jupiter's Great Red Spot and the active volcanoes on its moon Io, the first evidence of volcanic activity beyond Earth. At Saturn, Voyager 1 studied the planet's intricate ring system and its largest moon Titan, whose dense atmosphere was of great scientific interest. Voyager 2 had a longer planetary mission, not only visiting Jupiter and Saturn but also making historic stops at Uranus and Neptune, becoming the first and only spacecraft to explore these ice giants up close. During its encounter with Uranus, Voyager 2 uncovered its tilted magnetic field and discovered 10 new moons. When it reached Neptune, it captured breathtaking images of the planet's deep blue atmosphere and detected the fastest winds in the solar system. After completing its flyby of Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 was sent upward, out of the solar system's plane, to study the interstellar medium, while Voyager 2 continued its journey through the plane of the solar system to explore Uranus and Neptune. These differing trajectories allowed the two spacecraft to provide complementary perspectives on the outer solar system and beyond. Both spacecraft eventually crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause first in August 2012, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. It detected a dramatic drop in solar wind particles and an increase in cosmic rays, confirming its exit from the heliosphere. Voyager 2 followed in November 2018. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's plasma instrument was still functional at the time, allowing it to provide direct measurements of plasma density. This provided scientists with a deeper understanding of the transition from the solar wind to the interstellar medium. Both Voyager spacecraft are equipped with identical instruments, including cameras, plasma detectors, and magnetometers. However, the operation of these instruments evolved over time. Voyager 1 switched off its cameras after completing its planetary mission to conserve power for its other instruments, so it did not capture images during its journey through interstellar space. In contrast, Voyager 2 kept its plasma instrument active during its crossing of the heliopause, yielding vital data on the density and temperature of interstellar plasma, which Voyager 1 was unable to measure directly. The Golden Records Both spacecraft carry the Golden Records, phonograph records containing sounds and images that represent the diversity of life and culture on Earth. These records were designed as a time capsule intended to communicate with any extraterrestrial life that might encounter the spacecraft. While both records are identical, they symbolize humanity's hope and curiosity for making connections beyond our solar system. Together, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have transformed our understanding of the solar system and interstellar space. Their data have contributed to numerous scientific discoveries, from the dynamics of planetary atmospheres to the structure of the heliosphere. This allowed science to gain a deeper insight into the transition from the solar wind to the interstellar medium. Both Voyager spacecraft were equipped with identical instruments such as cameras, plasma detectors, and magnetometers. However, the way these instruments operated changed over time. 
Voyager 1 deactivated its cameras after completing its planetary mission in order to save power for its other instruments, meaning it did not capture images during its journey through interstellar space. On the other hand, Voyager 2 kept its plasma instrument running while crossing the heliopause, providing crucial data on the density and temperature of interstellar plasma, data that Voyager 1 was unable to directly measure. Voyager 2 has been journeying through the cosmos for over four decades, delivering groundbreaking insights about the solar system and beyond. After its historic planetary encounters and crossing into interstellar space in 2018, Voyager 2 continues to send valuable data from billions of miles away, billions of miles that are nearly unimaginable. Despite its age and distance, scientists still have high hopes for what Voyager 2 can reveal as it ventures deeper into interstellar space. There are some key expectations and scientific goals associated with this remarkable spacecraft. First is the detailed mapping of interstellar space. As Voyager 2 ventures deeper into interstellar space, scientists are eager to explore the properties of the interstellar medium, the substance that occupies the vast expanse between stars. This medium is made up of plasma, cosmic rays, and interstellar dust, and Voyager 2's instruments are specially designed to analyze its density, temperature, and composition. By comparing data from Voyager 2 with its twin, Voyager 1, researchers can gain a clearer understanding of the interstellar environment and its interaction with the heliosphere. Experts anticipate that this research will lead to a better understanding of the shape and behavior of the heliosphere. The heliosphere, the bubble-like region created by the sun's solar wind, protects the solar system from many cosmic rays and interstellar particles. Voyager 2's journey provides a rare opportunity to study how the heliosphere behaves and changes over time. Scientists are particularly interested in understanding the heliosphere's shape, which appears to be asymmetrical based on Voyager 2's observations. Ongoing measurements of solar wind and interstellar particles can help refine models of how the heliosphere interacts with the interstellar medium. One of Voyager 2's key contributions is its ability to measure the interstellar magnetic field. Scientists anticipate that the spacecraft will gather more data on the behavior of the magnetic field far beyond the sun's reach. This data is vital for understanding the larger galactic environment and the role of magnetic fields in influencing the movement of charged particles, like cosmic rays, across the galaxy. Cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles produced by supernovae and other celestial events, are a key focus of Voyager 2's mission. Positioned in interstellar space, the spacecraft is able to measure cosmic rays free from the sun's magnetic field interference. Scientists hope to learn more about where these particles come from, how they travel through space, and how the heliosphere acts as a shield against them. This research could provide insights into the life cycles of stars and the dynamics of our galaxy. Voyager 2 is also equipped to study interstellar dust particles, which are remnants of ancient stars and contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. By analyzing these particles, scientists can gain a better understanding of the building blocks of the galaxy. Voyager 2's observations can help answer questions about the composition, size, and distribution of interstellar dust, offering clues about the processes that shape our universe. The data gathered by Voyager 2 continues to play a vital role in shaping the planning of upcoming interstellar missions. For instance, the Interstellar Probe, a proposed spacecraft intended to travel far beyond Voyager's reach, will build upon the findings of Voyager 2 by examining the outer edges of the heliosphere and the interstellar medium in more detail. Voyager 2 is paving the way for the development of new technologies and scientific goals in the pursuit of deep space exploration. One of the most thrilling aspects of Voyager 2's mission is its capacity to uncover the unexpected. From discovering active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io to revealing the surprising density of interstellar plasma, Voyager 2 has consistently surpassed expectations. As it moves further into uncharted territory, scientists remain open to the possibility of new phenomena, whether related to interstellar physics, particle behavior, or cosmic structures. Beyond its scientific objectives, Voyager 2 provides valuable lessons about engineering and the durability of spacecraft in extreme environments. With its power and instruments gradually declining, scientists are using Voyager 2 to test how long a spacecraft can operate and communicate in deep space. Surely, these lessons will guide the design of future missions that aim to explore even farther. As Voyager 2 ventures further into interstellar space, it carries the potential to reach regions influenced by other stars, stellar winds, and magnetic fields. Scientists are optimistic that, in the distant future, Voyager may second detect signs of nearby cosmic influences, 
offering valuable insights into how stars interact on a galactic scale. Voyager 2's mission into interstellar space is far from complete. Researchers are keen to explore further aspects of the interstellar medium, the structure of the heliosphere, cosmic rays, and the hidden wonders of the galactic environment. Despite its age and the immense distance from Earth, Voyager 2 continues to expand the limits of human understanding, providing a window into previously uncharted regions of space. As it ventures into the unknown, Voyager 2 remains a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity, inspiring future generations to reach even farther into the cosmos. On the furthest planets of the solar system, Voyager 2 in the solar system, thanks to Voyager 2, we gained invaluable knowledge about the three planets farthest from the sun. It remains the only spacecraft to have visited all four of the gas and ice giants, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, up close. While Voyager 2 didn't reach Pluto, its discoveries at these distant planets provided essential insights into their atmospheres, moons, magnetic fields, and more, revolutionizing our understanding of the solar system. Voyager 2 reached Saturn in August 1981, expanding on the data gathered by its predecessor, Voyager 1, and making groundbreaking revelations about Saturn's intricate system of rings, moons, and magnetic environment. Voyager 2 revealed the intricate structure of Saturn's rings, discovering gaps, spokes, and braided patterns within them. These findings suggested dynamic processes such as gravitational interactions with moons and particles clumping together and dispersing. The spacecraft's images of distant planets, moons, and even Earth itself have underscored the vastness of space and the relative insignificance of our planet in the grand cosmic scale. This perspective challenges us to think beyond national or cultural boundaries, emphasizing the shared destiny of humanity as inhabitants of a small, fragile world. Voyager 2 represents humanity's unwavering quest for knowledge. Launched into space with no certainty of what it would encounter, its findings have revolutionized our comprehension of the solar system and the broader universe. This daring journey into the unknown reflects a core human trait, curiosity. While this marks the end of the video, it's just the beginning for Voyager 2. It will continue to ascend and uncover more hidden wonders of the solar system.